Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So today is a super exciting video. I am so excited to do this. So I got the soft glam palette as you can tell from the title. So yeah, I got it from Ulta because I'm pretty sure they only sell it at Ulta. Uh, no, they sell it at Sephora too. Yeah, so... I am so excited to try this out. So many people like it. And I'm really not expecting anything less than the Modern Renaissance because I love my Modern Renaissance. It's been loved. It's been through a lot. I mean, I love it. I don't really want to ramble a lot, so let's get started. Okay, so I got the Soft Glam Palette for only like $24.84 because I had a gift card, so that was a steal. I'm super happy about that. So I wish I could say I haven't opened it yet, but it still will be a first impressions, but I had to open it in the car just to make sure it wasn't like damaged or anything because that would suck if I just like got home, filmed, and it'd be like broken. So, oh, it's beautiful. Also, don't mind my nail. It looks disgusting, but you know, it's from getting acrylics taken off. So I'm really late on the trend, but you guys probably know what it looks like. It's the same velvet material as the modern renaissance. Also, if you see me looking over here, it's because I connected my phone to my MacBook so I can see what I'm doing and make sure everything's in focus. This is what it looks like. Oh, the brush just fell out. That's cool. Okay, so I need to take this off. It is beautiful. If I can get the... Oh my god. Okay, so the brush that I dropped is exactly like Anastasia's other brushes, but this one's way more clean because my other one has been through a lot. I'm not a fan of this side right here just because it's like kind of rough, but I do really like this side. I don't know if I'll be using it today, but honestly, let's just get into the tutorial because I'm super excited. Okay, actually, I tricked you. Um, I needed to do primer in my eyebrows, so I'll tell you what I'm going to use. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. That focus is so good, and I'm literally using my iPhone 6S. I don't even think I mentioned that my hair was wet. Like, you can obviously tell, but I just took a shower because I looked really crazy. I had school obviously then track and you know i wasn't looking my best so um i decided to take a shower before i filmed and that's why my hair looks like this and the two things i've been using for my eyebrows every day is the elf brow pencil and medium brown i think or neutral brown definitely not medium brown that's the brow was and then this maybelline great lash brow gel so i'm using the mirror and the soft glam palette i wanted to say modern renaissance and i'm trying to think of what look i'm gonna do and i really don't know like do i want to do a more reddish pinky look or do i want to do a bronze look or like an orangish look so on camera my eyebrow looks really patchy and they always do and everyone always comes for me but in real life they look fine so i mean i think it's fine all right i'm just gonna set them real Fast. Okay, and one last thing I promise before we get on to the eye look is carving out my eyebrows. So I just use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh my gosh, I'm probably getting really annoying by looking over there, but... And if you're wondering, I just use the Morphe M432 brush. Okay, now on to the eyeshadow look. So I'm obviously using the Soft Glam Palette. I don't even think I have to mention that. I'm going to set my eyes with the shade called tempura which is also in the modern renaissance so i am going to go ahead and use it from the modern renaissance because as you can tell i'm trying to use it up and i'd rather get my use out of this one before i move on to the next one okay we're like really close now but it's fine now officially onto the soft glam okay one last look before it gets messed up so beautiful. Okay, I decided to be basic and I'm just gonna go for a nice orangish nudish look. You've probably seen so many tutorials like that, but and don't worry, there'll be many more tutorials with this, especially on my Insta. I'm going to start off with the shade called Orange Soda. I feel like I've seen everyone use this shade. Not that shade. 
I love this shade. And I'm going into the shade Burnt Orange, which is in the Modern Renaissance. I'm going to add that to my crease and outer corner. Also, this palette is literally balancing on my knee, and I'm kind of worried. Okay, so I decided to be a little different and do a halo eye. I'm not super good at them, but oh well. So I'm adding burnt orange to my inner and outer corners also. Now going in to rustic, which is that one. I'm just gonna add it to my crease and then outer and inner corners again. So literally right when I saw this palette, like, and that it was gonna be coming out, I literally fell in love with the colors like i loved it and i'm surprised i got it this soon but that gift card really helped because i don't i didn't really want to spend 42 dollars on it but i spent like 24 so that's pretty good um because that's like a pixie palette so that's really good and i'm using sort of like a harder brush and that's how much kickback it has so it's really not bad but like they're super pretty speaking of kickback didn't anastasia change the subculture formula i've heard that but i'm not like for sure if it's true i think it is though I'm going into sienna i love that shade i love those types of shades pretty much just like layering colors at this point i want to try to use a lot of the colors and then for an even darker color i'm taking mulberry um i was gonna do cypress umber but that's in the modern renaissance so i'm just gonna do mulberry so since i can see all the stuff that's happening on my phone on my macbook right now i just got a notification that someone commented i'm about to hit 7k and that's insane i'm so happy right now thank you guys so much you guys mean so much to me if you're subscribed uh youtube is being really weird right now and if you're not getting the notification or it's not popping up in your subscription box that's because youtube has like changed their game and you've probably heard this a bazillion times by now because i'm like late to everything but make sure to hit the bell because then you'll actually like be notified because they think like the subscribe button doesn't mean anything anymore like i'm going to cut the middle of my crease with a little bit of tart shape tape well there's like some of the hair that's like but I'm not good at these, but I'm gonna try. Okay, um, I'm now taking bronze right there, right there. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch because why not? Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even spray this and I don't even have to use my finger okay i'm excited like better than primavera and vermeer from the modern renaissance like this beats it by far i'm now just gonna go ahead and go in with a few matte shades and just kind of blend them together so there's not just a rock on my eye okay i'm gonna do the other side and i'll get back with you all right both eyes are done and i just swatched this shade right there it's the shade called glistening it's that one it's really pretty i'm going to take the shade tempera again but again i'm just going to use the one in the modern renaissance because i'm trying to use it up and i'm putting it on my brow bone and inner corner so the eyes are done i love this palette i'm gonna talk about it more at the end but i'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup on camera okay, i already primed my face and the foundation i'm gonna use is the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream i love that it comes in a pump but i don't really think it's my shade but it's fine i'm still gonna use it because i haven't used it in a while so oh just like smearing it all over my face and i just got this new real technique sponge not too long ago like a couple days ago and i've been getting i've been good about keeping it clean okay so since i didn't add a lot it's giving me like a medium coverage which is good because i didn't really want a full coverage face today okay i literally just said i'm not really wanting a full coverage face but i'm literally using my most full coverage things so anyways i'm using the tarte shape tape concealers but as you can tell this one's a lighter one and this one's a darker one because this one's a little too light and this one's too dark for me right now um because my skin tone changes throughout the season my darker shape tape is actually really close to running out and that's pretty cool because i've had it for since the beginning of last summer or around that time okay so i don't know if you can tell but i film on my closet and my tripod is right in my doorway that i film in and i forgot to bring a powder in here and I really don't want to have to go out and get one, so I'm just not. Did I also seriously not bring a bronzer? 
Okay, never mind. I forgot a bronzer too. I have to go get one. Okay, I'm back. That was difficult. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow contouring palette for my powder and contour. Wow, okay, I actually didn't end up forgetting a bronzer, but I guess I'm still gonna use the Wet n Wild one, but I've been holding my bronzer the whole entire time. Um, I'm just going to set my entire, not my entire face, I'm just going to carve out my jawline, not my jawline, I cannot talk. I'm going to carve out like right here. That was really satisfying. Okay. I'm using the Wet n Wild like blush in the shade Mellow Wine. Uh, I haven't used it in a while and I kind of need to. I'm using the Sun Dip to Glow Kit. This goes with any look, pretty much. Let's be honest. I mean, it's so good. That's why I pit pan on summer. So I'm using this shade and this shade mixed together. I want ice cream, like really bad. I'm gonna get ice cream after I do this. I'm also going to curl my lashes, but I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara for mascara. Where did my eyelash curler go? Why don't I have anything? I swear I brought it over here. Okay, found it. <laughs> I really need to get some new mascaras. Cause all my mascaras are dr like dried out and that's not the look we're going for. Like this one is too. And I just am buying all these other things and just not a new mascara. Mascara transforms the whole look. I love mascara. Just wiping off the big lipstick I'm using is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick and it's so pretty. The packaging is literally everything. Oh my gosh. Like isn't that shade just beautiful? I think it's I think it'll be perfect for this look. Okay, I love how this lip looks with this look. I think it really brought out the mauvey kind of reddish tones in the eye look. But anyways, this is the completed look. I love this makeup. Okay, the Soft Glam Palette. I think you already know my thoughts about it. I absolutely hate it. No, I'm just kidding. I love it and I expected nothing other because I absolutely adore my Modern Renaissance. I use it a lot and I think that they are really, really, really good quality shadows and they're less expensive than Too Faced palettes and I like Anastasia palettes better. I think they're like my favorite palettes along with ColourPop palettes but i think this is super duper good quality and if you want a nice palette that you could use every day um if you're a natural gal or if you like to play with some color i think this is the perfect palette for you um i absolutely love it and i will rate it a 10 out of 10 i can't see anything wrong with it i love how there's mainly mattes with a few shimmers and i love the color choices so yeah i think you guys can tell that i'm loving this palette and i can see it becoming one of my everyday palettes and that's saying a lot because I like to change my palettes up every day. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and definitely turn on the bell even if you are a subscriber that is just coming to watch this video because you don't want to miss another video. Just saying. But yeah, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'll never stop.